Welcome to Chasing Diecast Cars. So this is part two of the last chase report. Uh, these are the loot cars that I found. So uh, make sure to check out part one also. Got some uh, Matchbox Convoys in there. So we're going to start with the cheapest ones, the one euro cars and then go up to the most expensive one, which was a five euro vehicle. So first up is the Hot Wheels, the uh, Combat Medic. And this is in a Fort Thomas Police livery. This was part of a cop rods set from 2009. Quirky Garage, 1999. <laughs> I'm assuming you're uh, alluding to the uh, the sound that uh, you heard during my video, saying I'm not dead. Uh, so, in the United States, this was a Target exclusive. Not sure uh, if this uh, was not sold here in Europe, and it was fl flown over from the United States. I'm not sure about that, but I found it at this uh, collector's fair. So somebody's asking, I'm too late. Why? I'm not sure if I'm too late. I, uh, I, I didn't plan the video, so uh, I prepared it. Uh, but I didn't actually plan it in for a certain date. Uh, YouTube might have done that, but I didn't. So uh, I don't consider myself late. I planned it for five o'clock, um, 10 minutes before five o'clock, because uh, I think then people get uh, an announcement for it. And uh, yeah, that's what I did. What YouTube did, I don't know about that. But if you have complaints, <laughs> complain to YouTube. <laughs> so here's Majorette Volvo 245DL. So we got suspension, of course. Rudy Munais, Goedemiddag. Cheryl Tigo, hello. So no lens lights, just... What does the word convoy mean? It's a kind of uh, a bunch of vehicles all behind one another that's a convoy a long line of vehicles driving behind one another that's a convoy red interior still has the lift gate this is a tour de france official vehicle livery also with the total on it uh, i would like to find this in mint condition but that's just impossible on uh, on swap meets uh, yes, I have this one in brown also. I have, uh, I think, two of them in brown. Or maybe three. One has uh, tampos on it and the other two don't. And then we got this Toyota Celica. It's in not very good condition, but it's the first time I've encountered this casting. So uh, that's why I grabbed it. Toyota Celica 2 liter GT. Oh, okay, Quirky, I get it. Yeah, well, that's uh, a mistake by YouTube because I did not plan the video. I prepared it, um, but I uh, I never planned it for that time. Yeah, kind of looks like a Porsche 924. That's right. It's got the pop-up headlights. It's kind of cool. These uh, red plastic headlights that go up and down. Got a white translucent strip that's part of the window piece and it's metal on metal it's got opening doors and it's got suspension of course taillights are part of the yellow interior happy new year to you too i think the end of the year video you're um, alluding to the 
anniversary videos I usually do. I have to say I haven't had much time to prepare any of those, so um, we'll see. Um, I can't make any promises, but uh, we'll see if I can find the time to, uh, to prepare those and shoot those videos. The Celica is a 1989 release and the Volvo was a 1980 release. Next up for one euro was this Corgi, Mercedes-Benz 240D in the uh, German Polizei livery. So we got blue windows for the blue light bar. It's got a tombstone as a steering wheel so they did that. Uh, long before um, the Mattel brand started doing that. It's got, well, I guess some some kind of suspension. It's got both of its stickers, it's got its plastic trailer hitch still there. Staying with Corgi. Uh, Corgi is asking what fell down in my uh, yesterday video. I had opened a drawer. There's a um, bunch of bunch of uh, drawers on my desk here where I do the videos, and I had opened a drawer where there was a uh, Matchbox Convoy vehicle in there, a bigger one from 2013, but uh, it was incomplete. It was missing the part that was uh, on the uh, low bed in the back, and um, so I started searching for that part but didn't find it and uh, well I kind of knew that drawer was still open but uh, I never expected it to fall out of there and it just fell down and everything and it fell down too that was that uh, terrible noise that you heard so here we got Land Rover wrecker truck no the Namak uh, uh, is um, not reopened. Um, in fact, everything in uh, Holland is closed down. All stores, except for uh, food stores and uh, you know, pharmacies and stuff like that. But everything is everything is closed down. You're asking if I have the red one. This is the red one. This one still has one sticker, wrecker truck. Uh, so yeah. But these both have the metal hook still there, so that's awesome. Uh, and you know, they were only one euro, so picked them up. Now the next one was a real big surprise that I was able to pick this up for one euro. So this is a pretty old one, Vauxhall Victor Estate Car. It's all original, so. Uh, has not been repainted or anything. That's how I like them most. Uh, don't mind missing a few, some paint on there. Uh, I'd rather have it like this than a, a restored one. Yeah, of course I will uh, go back to the Namak when it reopens, but uh, you know, don't know when that will be. Just have to uh, wait for the. Uh, pandemic to cool down again so the black plastic tires some silver paint in the front Vauxhall SUV from Matchbox yes I have that yeah this is a pretty cool one very pleased to have it kind of a green interior So this was, let's see, Lesney Vauxhall Victor Estate, uh, first released in 1963 and made up until 1967. Next up, we got the fire pumper truck. First released in 1966 and made until 1969. It is complete, so it's got the ladder still on there, the hoses, these uh, things on top, the 
cherry on top was pushed down but I managed to push it back up still has the Denver on the doors of course metal on metal and then the next one is mint this is um, the horse box it says AEC on the front I'm not sure what that stands for everything functions the little gray door and then the green plastic is in great condition red red cabin blue windows and also red base all metal uh, this is the first release from 1969 next up we got the tipper container truck it says so duff on the red plastic and then tipper container truck on the actual tipper part in metal so all metal casting it should have a canopy plastic canopy on there um, maybe it was in there in that wooden box where I found it in but I didn't know it used should have one so I didn't look for it so yeah that's very nice uh, piece the way it uh, goes up and kind of is being held by that pin works very, very well Suri 62 bonjour kind of greenish windows it seems So this is the second release from 1969. Uh, I'm using a uh, Huawei Cheryl Tigo. Ruud Beukers, goedemiddag. Next up, we got this wreck truck in a military livery. So it says it right there. Here, wreck truck this was released in 1979 in a two-pack with another military vehicle and uh, I guess it's pretty hard to come by unfortunately the hook has broken off but uh, you know it was only one euro so I took it anyways um, because it's otherwise in pretty good condition cool good green windows that's a bit weird but you know it goes with the military theme I guess and uh, yeah, and then the last one for one euro is this lever 90 metal on metal suspension plastic roof and this a pizza livery this is a 2004 release got the metal trailer hitch also I know I don't have any of those uh, four Thunderbird or uh, Green Lights or Johnny Lightning things. Not really my thing. Yeah, someone bring Diecast Dude. I think Diecast Dude's on holiday, so he probably won't be watching uh, a lot of videos, I'm guessing. Then we go to the two Euro cars. I know Crook is going to like this one. So asking price was two euro. I ended up paying, uh, let's see, I can find it here on my list. One euro and 62 cents. So it's got the chrome base. It's a 1983 Dutch caravan. This is actually the first release uh, from 1984.
got suspension, it's got a red interior, and a plastic. And then from that same seller, I got this one. This is kind of, well, it's pretty ugly because it's been repainted, but what this is, is a Mira. And this was made in Spain. It's a Renault 4 uh, Express van version. Uh, it's got the silver base, silver front end. Oh, cool, quirky. Didn't know that. Brown interior. Proper steering wheel. The uh, base clips into the body there. It says Renault 4 on the back. It's kind of hard to tell with that uh, uneven paint on there. I had to cut open this uh, door sill here because the paint had uh, was un was unable to open it because of the paint. But yeah, this is my first Mira. Um, so really pleased to find it too bad it's been repainted like I said earlier in the video I prefer them to be original even if they have uh, severe paint loss it's better than uh, than uh, this uh, really bad paint job staying in paint in Spain this Renault de uh, Citroën de chevaux sorry is made in Spain by Guisval another Quirky brand. It's got the uh, opening doors also. Kind of a army style color. Doors don't always shut very well. It's kind of a strange uh, thing going on here on top. Usually this is kind of a canvas top convertible. Uh, but they have a metal piece here and then just a sunroof here and then a part where there's no roof, roof in the back. Yeah, it's kind of weird how they did that. Um, but anyways, I'm glad to uh, have acquired my first Guisval for an affordable price. Because usually these are pretty pricey. And staying with the Citroën de Chevaux. Here we are in Italy by Polistil. RJ42 is the model number. It's in the worse condition than the previous one. But uh, you know, I have a Polistil, but it's completely wrecked. So this is my only one I have now that is a uh, complete condition. Uh, Quirky, you're, talk you're talking about this one, that the, the roof section is missing? No, doesn't seem like there's something broken off or anything. It's got these, uh, yeah, these dots indeed, but I don't think there's anything missing here. Doesn't seem to be. I think it's just a strange construction. Um, oh, maybe, yeah. Maybe there's something that goes over here. Yeah, now that you mentioned that, it probably is a plastic part that goes over here that snaps in here and then snaps into or just sits into the back here. Okay, Ruth says uh, the green 2CV has a black roof. He has one. So indeed, like Quirky was thinking also, should have a black plastic part that goes over here. Yeah, that would make much more sense. Because this looks weird, right? Okay, thanks for clearing that out. So here we got the polystyl, rough condition paint wise, but it is complete. Got the functioning doors. That's so they included the shifter on the dashboard. That's pretty good. And it's funny, the, uh, the sections for the soft top, kind of kind of see the structure, where the structure, the Reinforcement structure is there is uh, where the paint has uh, is gone and then in between it's still there. If that makes any sense. Next up 
a Siku, Ferrari F40, uh, metal on metal, opening engine cover in the back, not a lot of detail in there so not really worth opening in my opinion. Civil license plate, got those plastic generic wheels, it does have nice lensed headlights. Yes, kind of looks like the uh, Matra Deluxe Ferrari, that's right. Of course, that one was a plastic body metal base. The wheels are a little bit too much inward, so that's kind of what makes it look a bit goofy. But other than that, it's not a bad casting. <laughs> now this has Yatming on the base. I found two of these some time ago uh, that did not have Yatming on the base. Those were Tootsie toys. Um, but this one has the hook on it. The other two did not have the hook on them. Well, they cost me far less than uh, two euro also. But yeah, I'm glad to have a complete one. It's got the chrome grill piece that seems to be separate and then we get to the matchbox ones that were two euro this is the version produced from 1970 till 1972 with these this type of wheels the SO stickers are still there but they are faded Yes, stop motion car, that's the same as the uh, military one. <laughs> that's funny, quirky. Uh, the hook is still there. It's, yeah, it's a, it seems a little bit stretched, but you know, it's okay. It's in okay condition. Again, everything is there. That's what counts for me. So, great addition to the wreck truck collection. Staying with wreckers, this is the Peterbilt wrecker. Chrome base, very shiny as you can see. This is the first release from 1982, and this is the white doors variation. Siku has lost a Ferrari license. Well, everyone has lost a Ferrari license except for Meichung, the Meichung group. They have the li license now and they can uh, sublet it to other companies. So, chrome front end, chrome smokestacks. So, the other version, the other variation uh, has the Eddie's Record 2 on there, but without the white background. Hi, Finley Plimpton, welcome. And then we got the Nissan Prairie in the paramedic livery. This is a 1994 release. Got suspension. Got a blue interior. Yeah, but base clips into the body. So one for the. Uh, ambulance collection or video and one for the minivan one there is indeed a VW ambulance that also has this delivery I have that one too so you'll see those together when I do that uh, ambulance video matchbox ambulance video one day when I find the time then we go to the three euro vehicles this one's a little bit bigger, but just about fits the frame. So this is the Majorette Autobus. 
Um, this is a 1987 release, judging by the wheels. The last uh, release of this uh, Saviem autobus. Uh, it says here in the front, Saviem. Diecast Ronnie, welcome back. It's got the amber windows, so you get the amber headlights. This was produced from 1979 till 1987. Got the uh, Concorde Champs Elysees Salon de Paris, and there's uh, some kind of a deck in the back. I don't know, maybe th that was for uh, smokers to go out and have a smoke. Who knows? A lot of French people smoking, right? Proper steering wheel, although it's a little bit high up there, and very strange shape of the the windscreen windshield, kind of rounded like that. So the green part is metal, and then uh, everything else is plastic. Uh, I ended up paying two euro forty four for it. Got some discount. Uh, the plastic definitely has uh, yellowed a bit because if you look underneath here, you can see the actual white, how white it uh, should be, and as you can see, it's uh, definitely not that anymore. Uh, the windshield does not remove, it's just bulged up like that. Don't touch the stickers. Okay, I'll try not to, but back as Ronnie. Next up, we've got this one, which when I bought it, I thought it was a matchbox. But, uh, so this Rolls Royce is a Edo car 1986 copyright suspension opening doors so basically uh, this is a Maisto casting nice interior <laughs> stop motion car you thought that was a Volvo yeah well it's got that same boxy style so nice Chrome front end there, tan interior, big black plastic bumpers, part of the base. So Matchbox has one of these two, and that's why I conf confuse it with it. So this one was three euro, also got it for 244, same with this one. All from the same seller. So this is the Land Rover 90 again, but in the uh, KLM livery. Yeah, quirky. Uh, Maisto definitely um, kind of stole that casting from uh, Matchbox, I'm sure. Uh, this also comes with a green top. This was part of a uh, four car set or four vehicle set that had all kinds of uh, airline names on the on this uh, this particular casting um, this is from let's see 1991 so there's three more to be found from this set and yeah these are pretty hard to come by this is a Royal Dutch Airline, KLM. Then, continuing with Matchbox. So, uh, this is the BMC 1800 Pininfarina. Asking KLM stands for Koninklijke Luchtvaartmaatschappij. So let's see how old this one is on the list here. From 1969 till 1970 this was built. Of course it's got suspension. Good old Lesney matchbox, metal on metal. Uh, 
Next up is the Lamborghini Marzal. So these were all from the same seller, same. An opening part on this does have the suspension. So this is a going car. That's one of the reasons why I bought it. Hi, Arturo Velasquez, welcome. Yeah. St concept Lambo, stop motion car, comments. I can imagine because uh, I don't think I've ever seen this in real life. It's got this uh, strange style wheel window. So all the details in the back are part of the metal base. Very uh, space age interior also. Looks pretty cool. Then I got the Alpha Carabu, whatever you, or however you pronounce that. The yellow base is so hard to read. Again, you got the suspension. I bought this thinking this might have going doors, but it doesn't. Black plastic part in the back here that is separate. Vodka Kiko, hello. And then this one was actually what started me buying uh, these cars. Okay, yeah, I don't know much about Mario Kart, so that's uh, I only know Mario and uh, Luigi, that's all. So here we got the racing mini. The uh, let's see, date wise, by the way, the Caribou was from 1971 to 1974. Racing Mini is from 1972 to 1975. This was in production, so missing the stickers on the side, but I don't mind. This is the, the best version I've ever come across for this kind of money. So, really glad to finally have an example of this. Of course, got a little bit of suspension too. Not that much, really. And then the last matchbox from this seller, all for the same price. The Mercury Cougar Villager. So this was made from 1978 till 1980. I do. I have several matchbox Honda Ridge lines. Yeah. I know you have this Mercury Quirky. I would love to get the uh, blue one, but that's much harder to come by than this green one. I have this in my... It's kind of cool to have a near mint example of this. Yeah, no dogs in the back of this one. Still from the same seller, but Majorette. Same price also. This is called Fourgon, metal on metal. Fourgon is a van in French. Got suspension, got the trailer hitch. This is an ice cream truck. As you can see, it's got an ice cone on the side here. So lights are part of the base together with the bumper and then the grill is part of the interior piece. So we got uh, the freezes here on the left and then the cones on the right and as uh, mentioned in the chat you can uh, pull out this awning I have this in the circus version also that's right so that's pretty cool nice feature To leave it out because it's kind of stiff and also got uh, uh, by the way I will tell you the year of this um, this uh, pink one a violet one one violet colored one uh, was made from 1982 to 1983 and then this 
So just a plain yellow awning on this one. Different style wheels. And then it's got this uh, mouse on the roof eating uh, an ice cream. Still from the same seller, still the same price. This is an interesting one. This is a FC Citroën Brick, made in Holland. So quirky, it's not a majorette, it's an FC. Got the metal Seems like it it's missing an interior piece in the back there. Uh, kind of a flimsy uh, tailgate. I uh, when I was cleaning this uh, at one point I had it in my hand so I had to reattach it but that worked. So metal on metal got these black plastic wheels. <laughs> okay, cookie. <laughs> You're talking about the frugal, fine. Separate blue light on top and clear windows. Very crisp red cross on the hood or bonnet. Headlights are metal, part of the base. It's pretty tiny, it's my first FC car I have. I have a few vans, but uh, did not have a car by FC. I think these were also known as a best box, something like that. So yeah, pretty cool to have. And it's pretty small if you compare it to the next one, the majorette version. It is, uh, and it's, it's tiny. So here we got the Majorette DS21 Ambulance. So I got one previously that was in worse condition but still had the, um, the lift gate in the back. This one is without the lift gate but it still has the flags and uh, you know so I was thinking I was going to drill open the other one and then put the lift gate, well, both of them actually drill open and then put the lift gate on this one. But this should have a blue uh, hatch in the back, and the one I have is a, a white one, so it would be incorrect. So I'm kind of on the fence what, what I want to do with that. So it says ambulance in blue on the side, and then we've got a red cross on the hood or bonnet. Blue window piece, we've got blue headlights. And the cherry on top is part of the window piece also probably. Yeah, Andre, just in time to catch. So there's a guy in there with a broken leg. So this one is uh, was released in 1979 and was made until 1980. Uh, the blue window piece has been used since 1978. Before that, it was an amber window piece. The blue door was used since this release in 1979. So very hard to come up with these flags on there. There's a lot of different variations. Um, variations, uh, well, the first ones with the amber windows and then the later ones with the blue windows, but then also the tempos were different on Many of them, and then the wheels were different. Staying with ambulances, this was also three euro. This is a Corgi Mercedes Benz 2200 Benz ambulance, made in China, not in England. Got some suspension, blue window piece, blue light on top. It's in the mint condition. That's the only reason why I paid three euro for this, because otherwise probably not worth it being made in China. Uh, very similar in the front end to the uh, 
the other one we looked at before. Of course, the rest of the car is very different. Then we get to a Rolls Royce again, and this is a matchbox. So I found this first, and then later on I found the Edo car, and I thought, yeah, I've got two silver matchboxes on and the same event, but uh, yeah, not a matchbox. This one is Silver Shadow 2, metal on metal, suspension, nice chrome piece in the front. Seems to have some amber windows too, red interior, nice and shiny. Very good quality plastic uh, matchbox used matchbox used back in the day. Yeah, that's right. Edo car used uh, castings from Maisto, um, Real Toy, uh, Golden Wheel. You know all kinds of manufacturers. Uh, Loyal Bright, I think, too. Uh, but, you know, besides the fact that it's not a matchbox, they go together really well. Really like this duo. They look together very well. And the matchbox Rolls Royce. Let's see, what have I written down about this one? Uh, first release 1979 was made until 1980. Then we go even further back in time with Matchbox. This one. We go back to 1957. This is the 1956 American Ford station wagon. This has been repainted. This is not in the original uh, paint it was yellow uh, originally but uh, it has been repainted so you can see no interior no glass gray wheels black base and yellow body with some silver accents um, paid four euro for this one and for the next one this blue one it was never released in blue it just was repainted in blue um, yeah, had I known that, I probably wouldn't have bought that, but you know, I'm not that uh, familiar with these very old Lesnies. So I bought both of them. But yeah, that's a great find. And then the last one. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. The last one here was five euro and is the Mercedes-Benz Benz Ambulance. Metal on metal, it's got the black wheels, light blue window piece, got the blue cherry on top. So metal on metal, so we get the metal front end and the opening hatch or lift gate in the back. So uh I have now all three versions of this casting. I found one recently, another one, and I got uh, a version in my childhood collection. Still has the the red cross stickers on the side. The one in the back. I don't know if it, there's supposed to be someone in there. On a stretcher, I'm not sure. Yeah, car based ambulances are cool, uh, quirky. I agree. Uh, they're just station wagons that have been uh, converted to ambulances. So uh, there's a bunch of them. I won't be able to get them all in the screen, I think. So uh, Matchbox, Corgi. And that's the ones that I have in this video. Of course, that's more than the than what I got here in this video. But uh, yeah, these are definitely awesome.
to collect. So that's all I got to show you. In the back there, I've got the um, hitch and hole ones. The Nissan ambulance. Well, yeah, this I can add the Nissan ambulance, but it was just it's just a ambulance deco. It doesn't have a cherry on top. It's not converted. It's not a passion passenger vehicle converted to an ambulance. It's just a minivan in a uh, ambulance or paramedic livery. So it's not a proper ambulance really. So the hitch and holes in the back, uh, I got the figures all out of there, out of the plastic blisters. So uh, kind of give you an idea. Uh, thank you Quirky. Uh, I uh, decided to do this in a live video because when I do a pre-recorded video of loose cars, no one watches that. Uh, so um, I thought that uh, would be better doing a live video of it. Usually don't do uh, chase reports live. I've done it once and uh, again no one watched it. So uh, well just a few people I mean the hardcore viewers for the live videos. So I thank you for that for those of you who have watched. Uh, yeah so the hitch and hole ones you basically got four creatures and uh, one in each pack. I got two trees dead one and a palm tree got the bonfire and we got the, a few humans uh, let's uh, bring them a little bit closer so here we got the uh, the hunter this is the hunter camera is picking it up pretty well I wasn't expecting that here we got the adventurer these figure, figures are very well done and very nice compared to the new uh, Hitch and Hall uh, stuff they release. We got the uh, Tarzan like figure. Here we got the first Dragon Warrior. Now, this Dragon Warrior is wearing a mask like uh, Hannibal Lecter was wearing in uh, Silence of the Lambs. That's kind of funny. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, indeed, very nice details on these. Wearing some kind of a backpack, too. No. Much nicer than what they do nowadays. And of course, you got the uh, the camera guy with the camera. Are you going to do the hitch and haul video later? Well, I already done that. The previous video is where I opened up the hitch and haul. So that's the only video you're going to see of that. So if you want to see that, check out the previous video. So this camera guy seems to be wearing sunglasses. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. So that's it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching, for participating in the live chat. Um, yeah, it looks like a police guy, that's right. And uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.